What's up, everyone? Oh. All right, I'm back. I got really bad pretzel rods. I don't know what they are. They're so bad. Like, how do you make pretzels taste bad? Pretzels aren't even supposed to taste. I repent. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm, okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it, what the fuck? Oh my god, he is outside. This is insane. Oh, he locked me in. This is okay. stupid. Just some hazing for the new girl or something just just play along and do your job okay so he's the one that was here okay i'm fucking quitting tomorrow i mean who does something like I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too late. The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. <sighs> I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I had years to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Open it up. Good luck, Rebecca. I'm sorry this had to happen. <sighs> this is insane. What this cabinet? Just be the professional one, grab a body, and get started. Alright, cool. Okay, let's go. Yeah, screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. This is a mini cassette, a small tool of expulsion. Demon to hell. It must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper 
ever combust, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere, so look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with. You can use that knowledge what? to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, burn it in the retort. Oh. I imagine this one's gonna be kind of obvious. What's this for? Weird. Okay. Do I need another one? Track of things. And the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. Um, looking for that notepad, buckaroo. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Alrighty. I still don't see a sigil anywhere. The night shift database, a computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, Play these tapes, or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Right. Which body am I doing? I guess I'll do this one. Oh shit, I need that. Yep. Come with me, little girl. Crummy old building. Lock me in here. Scare the shit out of me. Line it up. Get on the... Get on the gurney. Get on the gurney. Get. You're lined up. Get on. Get. 
get on. What the fuck? Get on the table. All right, let's try a different one. Since this one wants to be uh, kind of annoying. Please cooperate. Oh, I have to walk. Oh, did I have to walk before? I did, okay. Okay, so I was being dumb. You go in, you go in. All right, we're dealing with more old ladies. God. I'm just here to do my job. What could go wrong? All right, let's check you out. Why don't we close these? I don't need any unnecessary shenanigans going on. Just take a little peek around. I'm gonna say there's a chance that first one was a fluke. Uh, there actually was no sign. All right, let's get you. Close that door. Get you checked out. We got that. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Back. How many are there? Five. You sit back down. Hello? I said you sit back down. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. I don't care how long I'm in school. New career path. Fuck this. Fine. You know what? You don't want to. You don't want to. Maybe. No. Maybe everything's fine. It's it's fine. Uh, what? No, I, I you're just you're just as much as I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. It's it's fine. Can I? Can I get a new pad here? Now, like, we're just, we're staying with the one little sticky notepad, I guess. Okay. Okay, back to work. Nope, already did that one. Screw this, I'm getting back to work. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yes. The ghosts in the game are not real. Okay. Um. This is fine. This is fine. There we go. Ew, the fuck is that? Ugh.
Name, Sierra Cody, age 85. It was her right shoulder had a contusion. Her left shoulder had plumishes. Her right arm had hermangioma. Her left arm had hermangioga. And her right leg had a rash. I'm going to submit that. Entry number one. Go back. How's the night shift looking? What does this say? This system is only for Riverfield. Filed a copy up front. Please enter your night shift code. Packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front. There we go. Time to embalm. We're embalming now. We're having fun. Because that's that's what video games are supposed to be. They're supposed to be fun. Are you not having fun? Alright. We're checking with the letting strips again. We're checking. We're checking. We're checking. Okay. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay, back to you in bombing. All right, I need to wire. The fuck was the creaking? Oh, dude, my shit's not out. God damn it. I don't want to do this myself. All right, I need you. I need you. Give me your mouth. Donk. 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 Oh, this is a lot less gross the second time. Donk. Yeah, 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 we're just wiring your mouth shut. Not a big deal. Don't go up. Donk. Cut. Your mouth shut. I need to cut your throat open, right? Uh, oh, no. Eye caps. Eye caps. Where are the eye caps? These, those are eye caps? Yeah. Okay. Eye cap, we're flying now. I know what's going on. Uh, oh, nope. Oh. All right. All right, give me the scapel. Give me this bitch's throat. Yup. Oh. Right, I need to do the fluids first. Um. Formaldehyde. Oh, it tells me which ones. Okay. Reagent. Oh, that's the... Uh... Humectant. What is this? The bleaching agent. Ah, I need this one. That's one. Um. What are you? You're not important, apparently. Do I need you? Chem lab? Menthol? I do need methanol. Yeah, I need methanol. Who the fuck's talking in here? You two, shut up. Game. Um. Oh. Access card. I'm trying to put it away. 
Youth question. I really needed a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low, and you mentioned having some down there before. I don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of your key would make things a lot easier for everyone. So, my stuff in here? Yes. My new work badge. To take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive, I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to, Zoe. P.S. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. Alright. I shouldn't. This is mine, right? My work badge. Limited access. The fuck is this? No, what is that? Okay, I guess I don't need to know. I'm looking for one more thing. Who, Mechton? Is it this? Probably this. Yeah. Don't fucking tap on the window. I know what you're... Oh, that window's open. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Did I already use it here? There we go. Okay. Everything... Yes. Mix. You're all in there. Or do I have to put the reactant in there too? Yeah, I'm guessing I also have to put this in. Oh, right, um, incision, I think I already, Scalpel. I can't use that here. What do you mean? I can't use, I can't use that here. Yeah. Okay, hate that. That's the worst one. Uh, where's the PVC piping? <sighs> what? Just trying to check on my drawing. Okay, nothing weird. Well, I actually need those. Artery forceps. Those are eye caps. I, mean, I guess I'll take more eye caps. Uh, PVC piping. Wonder syringe. Uh. PVC piping. Nope. Um. Okay. Oh, I know. Um. It really doesn't seem like there should be that many places for... There we go. Too big. Can't keep doing my job. Just can't keep doing my job. That's what we do, right? You're going I'm to... missing something. What am I missing? Oh, the forceps. Yep. Cool. I just, I hate that sound. I just want to be over here away from. I see you. There's no chance. Dude, that just happened to line up like that.
Dude. What the fuck are the odds of that? Croker. Fucks here. Give me another goddamn pretzel. There we go. I was just fucking disgusting, man. Mix cleaners in the bathroom to get the fucking tank. I. Okay, anyway, um, now seems like a good time to check this. Oh, you're still doing your thing. Okay. What's in the mirror? Oh. That's fine. I don't know what that cracking sound is behind me. I'm sure she's not, like, snapping my neck. Back in the year of the arrival of the House of Death, the birth of its creator. Full number shall be six. Okay. Very cool, very cool. Else needs to go in. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Do I have tank cleaner? I think I do. Can I not? I can't do two of these steps at once. I didn't like that sound. I'm missing something. How am I missing something? I just picked up the moisturizer. Okay. Yes, my name is Rebecca. I gotta moisturize right. the dead. Where is it?
There we go, another one. Did I not just take one? Yeah, give me one. What? I just took one. Bring it into the material world to be found. So, is it here? Alright, well, I guess I'll put the body away. Turn the body to cold storage. Oh, the door closed. That's spooky. I thought I heard something. Alright, well, I guess that's this episode. I don't really know what's going on. I can't find the sigils. Uh, what I may do is, between episodes, just keep poking around. Is that a sigil? That's got to be one of them. Burned into the ceiling. Alright, that's the first one. I'm going to look around for the second one. See if I can find it between episodes. Right. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, stick around for the next one, and I will see you... There. Bye.